Oh yes, the Pet Patrol is here, folks, and they brought some fancy goods. Let me tell you, they're stepping up their game. Good morning. Good morning. There she and, is, Sandy and... Lampy with the Pet Patrol, and you brought a couple of friends. I did. Good I brought, brought a couple of friends, but before we introduce before our we friends, get there, look at this. We oh my got gosh. Valentina. We got Gucci. <laughs> and this is a Louis Vuitton. This is a Lu this is a Louis Vuitton. Oh we got my. a Burberry, Kate Spade, uh. designer sunglasses. Oh, here. And Judith Lieber. Whoa, is this little watermelon. Should I know, Judith? Yeah, well, it's yeah. okay. Okay. <laughs> you won't <laughs> be carrying I it. I will tell you one thing, it's fancy. It's How does that work? It's very fancy. Is that just little? It's press. What is it? Press here. How do you do it? All her stuff is like this, right? It's like a little fancy watermelon thing? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, it's and you keep your little lipstick or whatever. Chic. It's very chic. Very chic. <laughs> yes, it is. For the is. summer, a watermelon. And so these are some of the things that uh, you're going to be raising money. Yeah, it's for the Face Foundation. Yeah. It's for the big event, Bags right. and Boggles. Here's the director. Good Bags morning. and Boggles already. It seems like just yesterday. It's that time again. <laughs> Face Foundation sixth annual Bags and Bobbles, benefiting local families and pets in need. We're so excited. It's our sixth year. We're going to have hundreds and hundreds of handbags, jewelry, clutches, sunglasses, watches, accessories. It's going to be fantastic. And all the proceeds go to help local families pay for emergency veterinary care for their pets. And the name of your group is called FACE. And we do actually have a young man here that I think it'd be neat to talk to because he is a beneficiary, right? Absolutely. Of, so this is of face, yes. Exactly. Face saved Sophie last month. She had IVDD, which means uh, she herniated a disc in her spine and was paralyzed. And now she's better and walking wow. again. And Dylan can tell you about that experience. Dylan, good morning. Tell us, tell everybody at home who you are. Uh, my name is Dylan, and I am from Edinburgh, Indiana. You are, and you were a Marine. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell us how this all happened. You got your dog, and <clears throat> so Sophie tried to jump on the couch, and she just didn't quite make it and she fell back and this like loud scream came out and we're like oh wow what's going on we picked her up she couldn't walk at all she was crossing her legs she was whimpering whining oh my gosh like wow you know something's definitely wrong so we took her to the vet hospital and you know they it's like you know something's definitely not wrong with her back she can't feel pain she can't she couldn't do anything pretty much uh she couldn't walk she couldn't sit she couldn't she really could not do anything and <laughs> this face group came along and fixed her and, up. Yeah, we actually, uh, I was just looking online one night and it just happened to come up. It was a local San Diego thing. So it was like, well, maybe they'll do something for her. Wow. And, well, here we are. And they did. And there you are. So tell and us what did. you guys did. Well, so, first of all, how many lives have you saved so far? Well, Sophie is one of 1,450 <laughs> lives saved. We are 10 years old this summer, and we're at 1,450 lives saved. It's incredible. We work with wow. over 120 veterinary partners, all of whom give us a generous discount, so that wouldn't be possible without them. But we reached out to our supporters and within 12 hours raised enough, which is several thousand dollars, to pay for her care. Sophie is so important to this family. And now she's walking and running and playing and jumping and ready to get back. Can be. She's exactly. being the pug that she needs to be. Exactly. And and I, I would imagine that there's um, some kind of an income. I mean, can you be of any income and get this help? Obviously, it's for people who need help and they can't otherwise afford it. Exactly. If you cannot afford the surgery, veterinarians typically don't accept payment plans. So it's yeah. either all or nothing. And your options are economic euthanasia or give Eesh. your friend up and give her to the shelter. And so right. for families, their pets are family. So they do need to uh, prove financial hardship. We don't have an income barrier, though, because everyone's story is so unique. You yeah. never know what someone's going through. So uh, we're so happy to be able to help our community. We're really there for people who just need us. Uh, in the time well, it's an amazing group. I mean, and Thank I've had you. people actually come. They've seen the segment before, and they've come up to me and said, "Hey, can I get the number of that group because I can't afford to fix help my dog?" Right. You know. So this is wow. What a service. That's what why a, we're here. So the event incredible. is being held at a incredible mansion estate in Rancho Santa Fe. Yes. Uh, in fact, San Diego Home and Garden did a whole pictorial on them. On yes. this house. Pretty, oh my goodness. Well, you guys are stepping it up. Yeah, yeah, it's an incredible it estate. It's called Casa Compassion by San Diego Home and Garden. The event oh, cool. is Sunday, May 1st from 1 to 5 p.m. You can register on FACE's website, face4pets.org. That's the number four. Uh -huh. And the more the merrier. It's a lot of fun, complimentary wine and champagne and food. And you just come and spend a day of shopping. And what's better when you know it's going to the animals? That is true. So once again, all these fancy items. 
right? And so where do you get all these things? These are all donated or? Exactly, yeah, yeah exactly. The generous public uh, steps through and donates their new or gently loved items to the foundation. We have a ton of supporters who really make it happen. And we have a generous board of directors and event committee who underwrite the expenses. So truly 100% of the proceeds go to the animals. We take a lot of pride in making sure our event expenses are very low. Uh, and we, That's again, we like, like to, to have a variety. Exactly. Yeah. It's all about the animals and the public makes it 100%. possible. 100%. 100%. It's crazy. 100%. Like I where mean, else do you hear that? Well, you, I, you just don't. I don't know. You, you just, just don't. don't. But just don't. this, this okay. is so much fun, this event. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun, but you you cannot go to this event unless you, unless you register online. Okay. Okay, you have to do that, and they'll give you directions on how to get to the estate. It's a great afternoon. You put on a wonderful woman, great-looking hat, Maybe and a cute hat. dress, and <laughs> yeah. you know you have a glass a of champagne and a pair and of fancy glasses. Absolutely, and the With items nice... to auction are phenomenal. Yeah. Very I mean, cool. City Rob that does this meticulously. I right. mean, every as you can see, everything looks brand new. All right. Well, this is wonderful, and you guys are a wonderful group. Thank you. And Sandy Lampy, thanks for opening our eyes to this again. And Thank this you. little fellow, of course, this is what it's all about. Yes, it is. This is what it's all about. This little puggle who gets to, gets to go cruising around. We'll put that info on our website. Thanks, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. We appreciate it. All you do. See you later. Thank you. Okay. Thank we'll you. take a break. See you back here in a minute.